Hey everyone and welcome to another episode of 2 minutes Tuesday. Few months back I uploaded one video on how to rendering atmospheric and many of you commented on that video that if we want to render that atmospheric fog or atmospheric volume on separate layer and later on in new uh, how we can compose it. So many of you asked that question and I thought why not to make a very short and simple video just to demonstrate how we can render atmospheric in a separate layer and compose it in Nuke. So in next three minutes, I'm going to uh, show you a very simple tips and tricks so that we can render our atmospheric inside Maya very quickly. So without wasting any time, let's hit the timer. Okay. As you can see over here, I have a, my scene setup and uh, here you can see I have multiple objects and uh, our atmospheric is pretty much visible over here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select my mesh in outliner and after selecting each and everything, what I'm going to do, I'm going to right click, assign new material. And in assign new material, I'm going to assign a material called surface shader. And what exactly surface shader will do, it will uh, create a cutout, not exactly cutout, but it will create uh, some sort of cutout so that your object won't render, but your object will participate in rendering and the place your object is, there will be some sort of cutout. So let's go to Arnold and open uh, Arnold and just hit render. Okay, render has been done and as you can see over here, I have my atmospheric only, but my object is something like it's giving us a cutout kind of feeling. So directly I'm going to save this image and let's jump to Nuke. Okay, so here in Nuke, I have two renders. One is without atmospheric and another is only atmospheric. So how I can use it, I can take a merge node and this will be my background and this will be my foreground. And here, as you can say, I am not able to say anything because I need to change the blending mode to screen. And since I can see I have two separate layers, so if I want to target my background only, so I can take grade node and I can probably, I can lower down the gamma. And if I want, I can take grade in my atmospheric and probably I can go in gain and then just, I can give it a some tint or some sort of brightness as well. So this is the way how we can render our atmospheric from Maya and we can use it in Nuke as a separate layer. If you want to make uh, this video in full detail, please don't forget to comment on this video. And I hope today's video will help you to render it atmospheric in a better way. And if you feel that this video is helping you, don't forget to like this video, share this video. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. With this said, this is VFX Vibe signing off. Have a good day.